Soft Rock 98.9. Hi there, I'm Kristen Kelly with a very special guest here with me today, Sanjaya from American Idol. Hi, Sanjaya. Hi, how are you? I'm doing great. How are you doing? I'm doing awesome. Yeah? I'm having a lot of fun, yeah. And you sound tired. <laughs> I'm very tired. <laughs> I can't even imagine what your schedule is like these days. Is it completely crazy? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I get a little bit of downtime now. I'm at home right now, so... I get a little bit of downtime, but I'm, I'm just taking care of things I need to take care of before the tour. Right, because you guys are getting ready to rehearse for the American Idols Tour, which is coming up here in Fresno Friday, July 20th at the Safe Mart Center. Is there anything that you can tell us? Are, have you guys started rehearsals yet? No, we haven't. Oh, so you have no idea what's to come. Yeah. Um, we we had one meeting about a rough set list, mm-hmm. and it looks good, but... Um, I think they're going to change it around and stuff. And right, yeah, because you guys have, what, a little over a month before the tour actually kicks off, so you have a little bit yeah. of time to work with stuff. Well, let's go back and with your journey on American Idol. You are the most talked about Idol contestant in American Idol history. <laughs> what does that even feel like? It's, oh, man, it's it's really awkward. Yeah. Oh, how but, much of it? How much of it did you actually hear about? Because I know that sometimes you guys were living in that house and you were so busy and stuff. But how much of what was going on in the outside world were you actually aware of? And when did you start hearing about it? Um, well, I heard about most. Well, no, I won't say most of it because I'm sure I didn't. I still haven't heard most of it. Yeah. But um, <laughs> I I heard some of the big stuff. Um, just because. We did have access to internet and stuff. So. Right. What kind of stuff were you hearing about, though? Well, I heard about the Howard Stern and both of the worst. Oh yeah. And um, just that I heard about the girl on YouTube that was starving herself and stuff like that. Oh yeah, I remember that too. Yeah. That just had to be weird to go through. It is. Yeah, it's definitely really weird. Why do you think they picked on you? Um. I have no idea. You're like, I don't know. You explain that to me. <laughs> yeah. Well, let me just say that that's a lot of pressure for anyone to handle, let alone a 17-year-old. But it seemed like you really, instead of making it buckle under the pressure, which I totally would have done, what you did, it seemed like you came out more confident every week. Like, you know what? I'm going to I'm gonna make this a positive thing, and I'm going to come back confident every week. Is that kind of what you wanted to do? Yeah. I, I mean, I just wanted to I, – I just – made sure that I didn't let it affect me, like, inside. Right, like, personally, yeah. Affect me emotionally so that I got distracted from what I needed to do, so which you, was the competition. Right, exactly. You did have to focus on that because it was a competition that you wanted to win. Uh, exactly. And people really connected to you early on, too. And I think a large part of that was because you and your sister both tried out for American Idol. Yeah. Yeah. What that had to be a little sad that she had to go home and you were, you know, moving on from week to week. But it was great to see her in the audience cheering you on. Yeah. I, um, when when she first got cut, I, I it was hard because I felt like that that was the first time that I ever really realized that I had to do this by myself. Mm-hmm. And and I was kind of scared about that, but <laughs> was, uh, she was really supportive. And, yeah. And it was good to have that. Well, once you were eliminated from the competition, I will say most people will agree that the show just wasn't the same without you. So, you know, you put up with all that pressure from the outside world. And then when you were gone, everyone complained that you were gone. <laughs> Isn't it funny how people do that? <laughs> yeah, they're just never happy. I know. Come on, people. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, people. How do people treat you when you meet them out in public? Um, I Well, at first they kind of don't believe that it could possibly be me <laughs> and then once they realize it they're like oh hey i imagine I, it's mostly good. nice the, the, yeah stuff. but i imagine it's mostly nice stuff people are saying to you now right yeah oh that's yeah. good what were the judges like what, what did they tell you after you were eliminated did they give you some good advice um they well they just said continue on your you can do that kind of thing but yeah. i mean they were really good to have to have a totally unbiased opinion well right while you're going through something like this because i mean your friends will tell you exactly what they think you want to (laughs) hear right because they want to be supportive yeah exactly and that's fine to have people like that but to have the opportunity to have people that are going to be brutally honest is really important right i think 
Uh, well, no, you met a lot of people on the show. You got to work with a lot of guest mentors. Who was your favorite? Was there anyone who like made you completely starstruck? Um, the one person that made me totally just like I'm in the presence of music royalty was Tony Bennett. Yes, he is oh. Tony Bennett. It's Tony Bennett. Yeah, I know. I had a so, chance to interview him once, and I was the same way. <laughs> yeah, it was. It's scary, mm-hmm. but then you talk to him, and he's just totally down to earth, just a cool guy, and makes you makes you really. I don't know. It feels good to to know that that someone who's been doing it that long right. can still be normal. Right, and he was very supportive of you too. Yeah. After was, you sang for him, which I think would be so. I'd be so nervous if I had to sing for Tony Bennett. <laughs> yeah. So you I did was, a lot. I was very nervous. Yeah. And are you friends with a lot of the idols, the top ten idols that are going on this tour? Yeah. Yeah. You um, really got. I've heard you guys that really this are? is actually the, the closest the contestants have been All right. on the show. So. And are you happy with the outcome of this season? Yeah. You like yes, Jordan? I am. I think it all worked out perfectly. I think that Jordan's the perfect person to not only vocally, but also as an idol, as an American idol. I think that a lot of people could look up to her, and that would be a good thing. Yeah, and, and there's a lot of uh, a lot of great talent in the top ten too. So we're gonna get a yeah. good show when you guys go out on tour. It's Pop Tarts presents American Idols Live. It kicks off in July. Going to be here in Fresno, Friday, July 20th at the Save Mart Center. And tickets are available now. AmericanIdol.com, the Save Mart Center box office, and all Ticketmaster locations. Well, what's next for you, Sanjay, after this tour? Do you have any idea? Um, well, right now I'm actually writing music with my sister. Oh, cool. Well, I'm gonna start. The uh, CD process mm-hmm. once the tour is over, so that's going to be really fun. That's going to be a whole new experience. And, so and maybe I some TV that. work, perhaps. Maybe <laughs> some TV work, maybe some movie work, and yeah, maybe well. some modeling. And I'm, I'm, I'm not sure. I, I just want to kind of see how it all, where it all takes me. Right. You know what? That's a great attitude to have too, because it just seems like you have so many opportunities that could come your way because of American Idol. So, would you say overall it was a great experience for you? Oh, yeah. I wouldn't change a thing. I, I mean, it all worked out perfectly. It all worked out the way it was supposed to, and I'm excited about it. Well, we're excited that you were here with us. Thank you so much, Sanjay. Good luck to you in the future, and we'll see you on the Idols Live Tour. Much. Thank you. Bye. Get some rest. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Bye.